All right, welcome back to day two. I am here getting you ready, getting your life in order, helping you get your homeschool in order for the coming season. So we are talking one, two, three. I have one idea or product or challenge for you. Two, I have products for you. And three, I have, then I'm answering a question about a language arts and giving you a flip through in a language arts program. So today I want to talk to you about this binder. This is a home management system, but you can call it whatever you want. It is just a binder. It used to contain more information than it does now for me. You need a binder for one of three reasons. Either you make one for in case you pass or get sick, you make one in case you need to move, or you make one if you move a lot, or you make one for um, just in case a natural disaster comes and you have to get out of the house quick. Any paper that is in your house, the only papers that should be in your house are in this book. Like, I mean, we're not talking homeschool papers. We're talking important papers. We're talking D's. We're talking wills. We are talking vaccine records, whatever you got going on, passports, any paper that is important needs to be in here. Keys to other properties. So, or other, you know, spare keys to cars, whatever you want. That's what you put in here. So let me show you. So they have these little pockets here. Oh, pull them out. So these little pockets can hold keys. This I had labeled to a key that we have, a car that we sold. But there you go. It's got bills of sales in here from cars that we have, that we own or did own, that should get rid of. So you have to go through and clean it. It's got, you know, property appraisals in here. It's got, um, you know, any, if you have a divorce and you have divorce decrees, whatever you got going on that's important that you need to keep with you in there. It also has, you can get their envelope packets that it's Velcro and you open it and it's got three hole punch and so you put that in there. Um, and what I put in there are like passports. Um, any cards that you shouldn't be carrying around with you, like maybe you only need one bank card to carry around in your driver's license. Maybe you don't need a ton of stuff or your military ID, whatever you got going on that you do not have to carry around with you, uh, put there. So there you go, that is my idea of the day because, and not to mention now, for the, if something happens to you, that's a whole different section. I use this because we move a lot and I made it because we used to live where hurricanes were. So I always, I would grab this book before we evacuated. I, like I told my mom, if something happens to me, go get the pink book, get the pink book. Okay, so next up products. I wanna show you some cool products. So on the screen, I'm gonna show you the before and after of makeup. There's generally only three products I use because I wear glasses, so I don't put a lot of eye makeup on. I just don't. Like, who do I see? I see you people and that's like it. Like, I, that's why I'm able to produce so much content because I just don't see a lot of people right now until we move back overseas. So, this is baked foundation that I use. As you can see, you can see the before and after I'm putting it on. It's for older women, I think. I don't know, but I use it and I'm 45 and I think it works right. I needed it because I wanted a substitute because I used to use sheer coverage i think that was cindy crawford's line and i loved it i adored it i adored it i thought it covered everything i thought it was great and then i could not find i tried a lot of the substitutes i couldn't find it this is the mascara this is from thrive cosmetics those are the only two amazing products i have this other one is just a highlighter that i put on you can use any highlighter but this was wet and wild it was it was at the the mall that they have on base here so that's why i grabbed it um, generally wet and wild products are not that much. So those are pretty much the only three products that I use. Um, but it's, it's amazing. This mascara is th from Thrive Cosmetics. It's just, it's amazing. It's called, uh, liquid last ex extensions. So I don't know. It just works like regular mascara, but so I can put these products on in like five minutes and it's, I've improved the situation before, <laughs> before we go out. Okay. So what question do I have today that I'm answering? I'm going to give you a see inside a couple different curriculums here. Um, we're going to talk all about reading, but the pre-reading, do you need the pre-reading from all about reading? Like, do you need that? My answer is no, no, not at all. You don't need it. Not only that, I think it's overpriced for what it is, but let's take a look and you can decide for yourself. Okay. So in here we got, I got double everything. Cause you know, I bought it for two of them even though I don't need it at all. So it comes with books. I feel like I don't, I thought, no, I guess it only came with two. So an alphabet rhyming book and then a collection of rhymes, old and new. They're not as pretty as the other ones. So you're just looking at like, why? You know, the letter Y, let's go into the Y and Kitty had a ball of yarn. So this is made for anyone to learn. You're just learning the letter sounds, which you can learn quite 
I mean, tomorrow I'm talking about like the easiest way to learn stuff like that. And you can learn that anyway. So here at M, the craft instructions for M, and then this is N, and it's got the craft instructions for N. So you're just going through that, right? And then it's got, of course it has stories that match to it. So I'm not saying it's not cute, it's just the M. This book's kind of cute, I guess. Mice might scare your mom and grandma. There's much to admire about a mouse. So not a bad book. Um, this one, I, I don't know if you need, but again, it is a poetry book and someone mentioned that they were looking for a poetry book. And there you go, it's a whole poetry book. Bat, bat, come under my hat and I'll give you a slice of bacon. And when I bake, I'll give you a cake if I am not mistaken. So kind of cute, I guess it's not bad to have. So it's up to you if you want. And then here are, these are, so that's a sticker thing. You can also get a puppet, I didn't order the puppet. This is of course a big poster of the letters that you can hang up because you will refer to it every day, I believe as you sing the alphabet. Remember when you're teaching the alphabet and there are capital letters, you're, the letters have a first name and a last name. The first name is their name and the last name is the sound. So this is the pre-reading student packet, which I didn't actually go into and use, so I'm not, I forget how to use it, but it's basically, and I had to look up because I'm not sure what, like what each of these are, but it's not as easy as it seems. Like you'd think D for duck, but it's not always like that. And it has like, okay, so let's look at capital X. The letter of the day, sing the alphabet song and point to the capital letter as each letter's name. And then today's letter is X. Have them find the X on the end. So then you're gonna complete the poem for X. You're gonna do the craft sheet for X. And then choose one or more activities from page 195 and complete them with your child. So let's go to page 195 here. So this is more fun with the alphabet. So you can, using your fading handwriting program, program practice the letter formation of the letter. You can form the letters with pipe cleaners. You can use stick magnet letters on the refrigerator and find the letter of the day. You can shape clay or modeling wax or Play-Doh into shapes. You can go on a letter hunt and look through old magazines to locate the letter of the day. You can do, you can use alphabet stamps for fun and decorate a greeting card, or you can point with your finger and trace the letter of the day in finger paint, pudding, shaving cream, salt, or sand. Okay, so that is essentially the program of what so again, fun, not a bad program, doesn't teach you handwriting or anything, it's just to learn the sounds of the letters. But keep in mind that when you get this program, this is the first level for All About Reading. I've done it, I've since stopped using it, but it's a good program. It's just, it was personal preference as to why I stopped using it. Oh, these are products for a different day, curriculum for a different day. So when you look in here, they teach you, this is the All About Spelling Box. Ugh. So if you have more than one child, that's why I got this big box, but it's uh, the All About Spelling, All About Reading box, but essentially what it is is you have the sounds as well in here. So you do go through and learn the sounds at first, and then you learn the sight cards. I think the sight cards would be better done if they used, well, tomorrow I'm talking about the easiest way to learn um, different, the easiest way to learn different reading. I guess to learn reading, because there's a few different systems out there that I think are a lot easier, but again, personal preference, still a great program. And it's got little activities that you do that are pretty fun. So let me show you one. So this is to teach rhyming, right? So you cut these out and these are the words that they're working on this week. So you cut everything out and then they're gonna make some double decker ice cream cones based on what rhymes. You spread it all out and they stack them up and they can glue them on. So these are just some of the cool activities they have. So new words you're learning every week, new phrases, that, and then look at these stories and there's three of them. I think are great. This is the first one. So the very first story and very early on, your kids are gonna learn to read this one. And it's colorful and it's pretty. Tap, 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 tap. So it's all about this guy, you're, you're to explain in the teacher's meeting says about explaining about how ferrets are kind of like mischievous, like cats. So he's just causing unintentional trouble. Tap, tap, tap the jam, tap the pan. Bam, the end. And it also has a thing in here regarding um, for teaching, if your child has dyslexia and can't tell the difference between a B and a D, it has a whole section in here in which, this is the teacher's manual, it has a whole section in here in which they teach the difference between them and how to help you teach the difference between them. But let's look at what your lessons are gonna look like. So letter E, you're gonna pull out 
the phoneme cards and you're going to practice card number 24 and then word card 63. Remember the yellow is the first one and or like, so they're two different colors. I showed you them in this box here. This box is I believe $14. So get the small one if you only have one child. If you have two children or more, you can get the bigger one and get separate cards for each one of them if you're teaching it at the same time. Because as you learn them, you have to put the, the card behind as they are memorized. Okay. So there you go, you preview the function words. You're gonna use the Tile app, which I think is another $14, or you can just get the magnets that come in with the thing and make words that way. The app is pretty fun though. And um, they also have an app to teach you the sound so that if you don't know the sound, which is my problem, which is my problem. And then there you go. So it's, it is a new teaching. Um, so it is, it does take time, but it's not, uh, I wouldn't say it's bad time. So it does take time to teach a lesson. I would say you're looking at maybe 25, 30 minutes a lesson, uh, probably about that. And, uh, but very early on, they will get the confidence of reading. So that is up to you if you like that program or not. But if you get that program, that means essentially that you are dividing your language arts into grammar, into reading, into writing, into spelling, into vocab. So you're like dividing it up, which is okay to do it. Um, which is a better way to do it if you have a child who has like, because language arts programs are all in one. So say you have a child who can't handwrite as well. The way language arts programs are done is you do a little bit of handwriting a day, a little bit of handwriting a day. And if they are behind in the handwriting, it's not as easy to work your way through the book because they're all mixed in. Whereas if you separate it all and you use handwriting without tears, you use, you know, all about reading, all about spelling, all, whatever you use, for that, it's easier in that sense. So if you have to do that, go ahead and do it. But if you don't have to do that, it might be easier to stick with like a language arts program that's all together. Okay, see you tomorrow.